Hello everyone. In this tutorial we are going to talk about the magic wand tool and in the follow-up tutorial we are going to talk about a quick selection tool. Um separating I'm gonna do them in two separate videos to keep the videos short because uh, for some reason the program is not recording it properly and it may be the length of the video so I wanna go ahead and do them separately. Okay, so I'm going to start with the magic wand tool. So, up top here are the same options as uh, the marquee tools. The first one is new selection, second one is add to selection, the third one is subtract from selection, and the fourth is intersect with selection. So, tolerance. Tolerance means the color range. <clears throat> so if we have a small tolerance, which is let's say 5, and I click in this area, it's uh, selecting a very small, like a very small space because like there's a lot of color in here, there's a very wide range of color. So it's not able to select a lot. And I can change that by unclicking contiguous. Contiguous means that it's only selecting pixels that are near the original pixels that you're selecting. So I selected one or like a range of colors and as you can see it's going crazy right here. Personally I like to work with the contiguous on because if I was working, if I'm trying to crop this right here, the stump, and I don't want this in the background, it selected part here and part of this here in the background that I really don't want. And I don't want to have to go back and delete this from the selection. So I keep contiguous on. There's two ways you can extract an object from a picture. You can either select the background or the picture itself. So the tolerance, as we can see, like it's only it's a, it's a color range for this here like there's a small it selected colors that are near to this color right here but anything that was too different from this color it didn't select so even though that there's a very small difference in color the number of the tolerance was just too small to be able to like move on to get these colors as well so what you do is you increase the tolerance I like starting at 30 depending on the picture that I'm working with or the objects I'm extracting so I one click and I get most of this area right here if I have contiguous off I'll click and it even selects like part of this over here but the reason why I keep contiguous on is so if there is a color right here that's similar to any of these colors over here it's not going to select it so it saves me time and sample all layers means that if we have a la another layer above this layer the original layer and we're working on the top layer which is the second one and I want to select around the second one okay and as you can see here there's really like on this layer there's nothing around it so I can select it right away but if the under if the layer under it was on like this and I have sample all layers it's only going to select the selection that's showing under it so I'm going to have to select all around it so I don't want that so you, depending on the situation that you're working on you will have it on or not for this one right here if I wanted to select this again or select around it, I just have to click without having to sample all selections and make sure that I'm on the right layer however in some other situations if you have uh, a bunch of images in, uh, all put together and you want to look at the result as a whole and modify it from there then you'll sample all the layers 
the ant and Elias is for smooth, smooth, smooth edge transition in the contiguous samples only contiguous pixels and sample all layers samples color from composite image okay so uh, one more thing you have the uh, refine edge it's really like uh, you can do a lot of stuff with it I can't give you a specific example other than creating funky stuff or modifying like a normal image to something that's not so normal and use it in a, one of your designs as a texture okay this is it for this tutorial please stay tuned 